Hello everyone, welcome to Newscapers video, it's Fedek here and today I'd like to talk about the progress that I made with Solo Quester this week. As I told you before, I wanted to train Thibin and Agility for the Chosen Commander quest. So I started with the Tourist Trap, which gives you the option uh, of getting some XP on different skills. Um, I recommend that if you're an Iron Man you get it in smithing because that's a little bit harder than the rest of the skills. But as I wanted to train Agility, I just went with Agility. It's like around 8 or 9k of, of XP uh, for the quest, so it's it's really good. Uh, next, I did the Feud. Uh, I don't know if, you, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but anyways. <laughs> it's a quest that uh, it gives a lot of Thibin XP and doesn't have a very high requirement. So I recommend that if you want to train your Thibin as soon as you get the, the level required, which I cannot remember right now, I think it's like level 30, uh, as soon as you get it, go and do it, uh, it's on the desert, uh, it's really really fast, uh, it's really easy and it gives a lot of XP, it's like 15k XP I think, uh, so it's recommendable that you do it as soon as you can. You know, Thuin is fast but sometimes it can be a little bit tedious and uh, you know, it, it happens, it happens. Uh, but you know, it's not it's not the most difficult skill to train as, uh, as an Iron Man account, but it's still, you know, a little bit boring, at least for me, I don't know. Uh, next up, I decided to do uh, each Larin's little helper, yes, uh, I had a little doubt there about what, what was the name of the quest. Uh, the problem with this quest that I had was that I, as you know, I'm doing these quests without a guide unless I really need, I, I, like, I get really stuck and I need a guide. So I was uh, answering a riddle for the things, and I thought I had it because it was pretty simple. But you know, I fall into a trap and I lost it. And it's not just like, well, you speak again. No, you lose the cat. You lose a cat. So you have to get another cat and continue with the quest. And I've also grown the cat from a kitten to a you know a normal cat, uh, so as to do the Ardoin tasks. And I didn't do the task that I did was required. I don't know why. I just forgot about it. And so I lost my grown cat. Now I have to grow another kitten back to a cat, uh, which is really boring. Uh, next up, I did uh, Fermanic uh, trials. Now Fermanic trials is uh, in, in a moment it requires you to give a shark to uh, to recharge your lyre and I thought that with a bass and a chaos ring you could do it because I mean I was used to that but it apparently the first time that you recharge it you cannot use uh, the chaos rings uh, the chaos ring so yeah uh, it's it's something I had to do there uh, I went to kill some morgus and they dropped me a shark pretty fast so yeah it was not it was not so much of a drama that I thought it would be so for many trials done, it's really good XP, really recommended. Uh, and so, well, uh, after that, I decided to do the, the Sears village tasks uh, because of the Sears headband. It's a really good item, not only because, uh, well, after the tasks, you can get some daily flax from a guy in the flax field, which is really good. I mean, you, it's it's thirty flax. It's not that much, but it if you collect it every day, you know, you, you have a nice. And I did a amount of flax to train your reflection. Uh, but also the, the item that it gives you as a reward acts as a permanent uh, light source. So if you are wearing it, no matter how, what, no matter what happens, you you still get a, the the light. So that is pretty cool. And also it allows you to cut two logs from a single tree, which is very cool now because I need to do my uh, construction. And in order to do construction, I need to get some planks, and <laughs> to get some planks, I need some logs. So yeah, it's gonna help. Uh, after that, I was doing the contact quest. Uh, I think it's the first contact. It's the first master quest that I've done yet. I, I'd like to believe that. I, I'm not sure. Uh, but as as I was doing the quest, I got uh, 500 uh, music, okay, 500 uh, music tracks, and I got the mod. Um, yeah, I mean, I got it pretty fast. I thought it 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 take it, it took longer than that, but anyways, I during the quest I died not on the boss fight but on a previous moment in a dungeon because I I had to take a call and uh, I went AFK and yeah I lost I I, I dropped on <laughs> on some tile I don't know what happened but yes I I recommend that you don't go AFK on an important quest such as this one 
but it gives a nice a bunch of uh, theming XP and also uh, some summer XP which is always welcome uh, so yeah well after that I did one third quest the other quest with exclamation mark I think there are two just two quests with that uh, this quest quest gives a nice bunch of slayer XP and uh, it, you know, it it was really fun. Uh, I had to do it because I wanted to do the slug menace later on, uh, and but it, it was still good. You know, the 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 slayer XP is always welcome at at this point. Uh, and so, I after doing the wanted quest, I started with the slug series. This is a series that I like. Uh, I like the beginning most at the end. <laughs> Because in, at the beginning they present you with this problem, this uh, you know, these enemies, these uh, these foes that are you know they sound dangerous and they sound creepy and uh, that they're going to take over the world. And towards the end uh, it turns uh, to another side, and I didn't like the last quest. Uh, but I haven't done it. I haven't done it. I did it on my main account, uh, but I haven't done it here. Uh, but yeah. I think that the last quest is one of the first ones that requires engineering, so that's an interesting fact, but yeah, still I haven't done that. So, uh, Slug Menace, uh, it gives a nice bunch of experience, uh, especially on Thieving that I was looking after that, but also on other skills, so it's really good. And so I finally got the stats for the Chosen Commander, and I've completed it, thus finishing with the Cave Goblin series. Uh, which is a really nice series. I, I really enjoyed the last quest. Uh, I liked it a lot. I really liked it a lot. Uh, it's, I think it's one of the best quests out there. Although it doesn't have very much requirements and the boss is pretty easy, but you know, I, I think it's pretty cool. The concept uh, in general was pretty cool. And so after that, I I did Receive for Disaster, the goblin part. Uh, as I promised, I would be doing one part of Recipe for Disaster each week, so this was one of the parts, the most easy part, I think. Uh, but anyways, I, I, I did a Goblin one because I, I was thinking about Goblins, and <laughs> after doing Just a Good Mother, I wanted to, to to have some contact with more Goblins. <laughs> so my for my first and only tip this week, uh, this week we are doing something different than the end, uh, I want to talk to you about the Call of Miseries. Uh, they offer you jobs, the, I think there are three types of jobs. You have skill jobs, uh, combat jobs, and exploration jobs. And the exploration ones are really cool because when you complete all them, all of them, uh, you you can get a bonus, a boost of five levels of agility uh, each time you operate the, the 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 thingy, the the kind of signs, the the banners. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't remember the name. Uh, the banners of of your of your god. And that's how I did the chosen commander because I got like 40 something agility and with that I got 5 plus levels and I was done. It was really really good. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of quests that require agility and and sometimes you can boost it. So that that item is really good for if you're going for quest cap. Uh, for my second tip, which is not a tip, is actually a question. I want to ask you guys because... Uh, last week I joined a clan which was called League of Nimbus. There's, it's a small clan, but you know they're they're very friendly. There's a very friendly community, and uh, you know uh, most of the people there are Iron Man. So you know I'm I'm kind of learning from them, and I'm I'm also talk we also discuss about uh, Iron different Iron Man stuff, and <laughs> uh, and it's really cool. It's really really cool. Um, what I wanted to ask you is if. Do you think that uh, um, the clan citadel is allowed in the challenge or not? Because on one side I think that it's not by interaction, but on the other side I think like, well, yeah, it's kind of by interaction because, I mean, if other people cap or not, it depends on how much XP or on which skills that the XP goes to. So, yeah, in a way I'm not sure. I think it doesn't. I mean, I just consider it as another place of runescape, but, you know, uh, I wanted to ask you guys, what do you think? Uh, and finally, well, I wanted to show a clip of me getting uh, a mithril hatchet on the floor, and I didn't pick it up. You know, uh, pro I cannot film all of my training, a lot of my gameplay, because that would be boring and it would be impossible, because I played for quite a while. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can trust me that when stuff like this happens, I tend to stick to the rules, because that's 
I mean, it's, if I didn't stick to the rules, maybe you wouldn't find out, but it would not be fun for me. So, yeah, I like to stick to the rules and I like to uh, do stuff that I, you know, that I set myself these goals and I want to complete them. So, finally, uh, as you can as you can see on the behind the scenes uh, that was uh, released uh, yesterday, uh, there's uh, an Iron Man and Hardcore Iron Man modes being added this month. And I think this is a very interesting concept. Uh, I would definitely, I, I I I definitely think that it, that is gonna be fun. But I wanted to clarify that I'm not gonna reset my account uh, because I have already a lot of progress into this, and I don't want to just you know cut it and start over. I think it's not gonna be very fun. Really, it's not gonna be fair, very fun. But don't worry. Probably in the future, when I finish with this series. Who knows, maybe probably I start another Iron Man account with this mode or a hardcore Iron Man account to do a different challenge. That that could happen. So well anyways, um thank you very much guys for watching. If you would like to subscribe to my channel that I run with Arabit, uh please subscribe and uh wait for next Saturday when I release episode eight of Solo Quest Solo Quest Cape. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. <laughs>